guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin. And if this is your first time here with us today, hi, hello, how are you? And if you're a returning subscriber, so glad that you're here with us today. I have a lot from Shop Goodwill that I'm gonna be opening up here. And with the help of my handy dandy assistant, Mr. Moonstone Papa, I'm gonna be opening this up for you guys today. What do we have? Do you want to show it we have multicolor natural stone bulk lot, 5.8 pounds. With um, everything that's been going on, um, I uh, purchased this lot a while ago, but it's taken quite some time to get to me. I went ahead and paid up for this lot um, mostly because I enjoy natural stones and other reason is because it was one cent shipping. And if you know anything about Shop Goodwill, you know that sometimes they like to just literally charge up for shipping and then take forever to get to you, uh, ship it out to you rather. So um, I paid up for this lot knowing uh, that I was gonna get some good stuff. So. Anyway, so the first thing that I'm pulling out here, aside from a mess, let's go ahead and show this one. So it looks like we have a quartz, looks to be quartz, has a little bit of a yellow hue to it. I have a quartz carved cross. So this was 5.5 pounds. Okay, so this is natural stone. This is, so this is wood. And guys, my um, nail polish chipped off. And so um, I, I didn't want you to see that, so I, I put a sticker over it. Um, so pardon the, the flower finger. Uh, this is Tiger's Eye on a wooden necklace. Has no other kind of markings, but in really good condition. As you can see, there is like literally no wear to that. A lovely knot. So this right here is, see if you can tell, this is not natural stone, this is resin. I can tell by the temperature and I can tell by the weight. Someone could easily definitely mistake this for natural stone, but it's just resin. They look like resin <laughs> hard candy. <laughs> Do they? I don't know. I don't know jewelry, but I know some candies. I don't know candy, but I know about food. This is cute. I know, it's just, I was just trying to be silly, but it didn't really work out. Mm -hmm. um, so this is dyed Howlite. Um, this is really cool, actually. Uh, I love, I love that how light. I love that how light can be. Hot pink Howlite. Yes, can be easily dyed. I think it's so cool. So you have this piece here. It's, it's I would say bold statement. 100% gold tone, hot and poppin'. And I love jewelry that can also be utilized as a weapon. So for self-defense. It's uh, when you get a steak and you want to tenderize it. And just yeah. Wrap it around your knuckle. There you go. You're out to a barbecue, 4th of July. The guy doesn't have his meat tenderizer. tenderizer. There it is. Nice piece. And it does appear to be missing any of its stones and the clasp is in really excellent condition. I hate when there's like hors d'oeuvres but no toothpicks. There it is. The toothpicks. Reusable toothpicks. Yeah. We're all about the economy. Jewelry with uh, sense So of it looks like we have, Functional. so this is like a dyed agate slice. You can see over here. But these are some natural stone chips. My wager is that they're also agate. And then we have some glass beads and silver tone lobster claw glass. It doesn't have a maker's name on it. It's very, very cool. I just especially love how agate could be also a window display. Very cool one. Next thing I'm pulling out is a very long one, but very nice. Uh, you can Oh, okay, so this 
is also resin here. And my guess is that these are faux pearls. You can rub them together, and if they're smooth, then you know they're faux pearls. And I was also told by a subscriber that you can tell if pearls are natural is if they uh, retain the, the cold temperature. They don't absorb the heat, so very nice. Um, and this is a lobster claw clasp, so a very classic piece in my opinion, and a long one, very nice. Okay, so it looks like we have a bangle here with some inlaid stones, if I had to guess. Or this may just be man-made stone or resin. It's very lightweight. Doesn't appear to have any name on the inside, but still in really good condition. Oh, I spy another cross. Two. Two crosses. There might be more. Quartz, and this looks like it may either be dyed quartz or aventurine. It's not ice cold like jade would be. So definitely looks like aventurine to me. Amazonite, Amazonite has what I would describe as white lines throughout. Um, if I come across a piece of Amazonite on here, I'll be sure to um, compare to this one to show you the difference between aventurine and Amazonite. And looks like here, Earring. earrings. And they just feel like glass. But they're nice nonetheless. Ooh, look at that. So they're no longer harvesting abalone for uh, jewelry um, or for any kind of harvesting purposes, just like coral. So um, I would assume abalone would be harder and harder to come by. Um, but this looks, this looks very, very pretty. The flash in the abalone is nuts. It's gorgeous. Very cool. I thought that was the bangles. Look at this. That's a druzy if I've ever seen one. Oh, it has a tag on it still. Nine wing wangs. So my guess is that this is like a dyed druzy, but nonetheless, it's so pretty. I love a good druzy. Very nice. Lots of crosses. Someone gave up their uh, their collection, I suppose. So this is dyed halite, and it looks like we have a glass bead. It's a honker. Is. Have vampire protection if I've ever seen. Oh, so this is a, is it a triple layer? Yep, triple layer. It doesn't appear to have any hang tag. Really good condition. And also another meat tenderizer. Uh, these balls are uh, resin. They are not natural stone. The only thing that is natural stone are the sticks. The pick sticks. The pick sticks. The pixie sticks, if you will. Very pretty, and it doesn't appear that any of them are broken, which is nice. So, I'll go ahead and scooch these aside to show you the full effect. Very cool. And very nice. Can you show these ones? Mm, yep. So then we have some more crosses. This one mm, may just be a more cloudy quartz. And this one is definitely a clear quartz. So we have come across a fair share of little crosses. I have a little soda light one too. I think they're cute. Ooh, we have some snowflake obsidian. It's a little heart, I wonder what that says. Oh, 18 karat gold plated. That's nice. Yeah, those with the other pendants. This looks like we have Howlite in its natural form with an open window in the back. 
How light is good, if you're into the metaphysical, is good for stress release, tension release. It helps release uh, that kind of tension energy, so. And it kind of looks like a turtle shell. And there's somebody's hair, how about that? Very nice. This one has, if you can see here, um, this may be put into a craft lot just because the gold over is not in the best shape and it's not definitely up to the standards in which I would like to resell jewelry. Um, so I definitely think I'm gonna set this one aside and put it in the craft lot. Wow, look at that. So it looks like we have some lapis and the gold flex in lapis is actually pyrite, which pyrite, another name for pyrite is uh, fool's gold. And it's beautiful in its raw form and even in its uh, polished form, it's gorgeous. Um, I know that this is called something, there's a name for it. This is the third piece that I've actually come across. I don't know uh, what it is, uh, the name of the piece that has the uh, tri or the three bronze, silver tone, gold tone, the, the, the three different metals. So I know it's called a specific style, I just don't know what it is, but this is the first one that I've come across that actually has a stone attached to it, so very cool. Ooh, look at here. So this is a glass bead. Actually, you see the matrixing here. This is a natural stone. I do believe that this is Amazonite. So, I'll try to, this is probably a really poor representation as uh, the Amazonite is cut in a certain way, but I hope that you can see there are some white flecks throughout here. And if this was in a more, it's like a different, you can see right here by the matrixing, the white lines that I'm kind of talking about. And when you compare it to something like this, you can see this almost has a white glow from within. And that's Amazonite, and this is Aventurine. So this is just someone's artisan uh, ring. Looks like it's just um, silver tone over copper wiring. Uh, oh, more crosses. Oh, uh, ooh, so we have a Unikite one, which Unikite is green and pink. Looks like we have like a, gosh, I wish, I have a few natural stones of these. So if anyone can tell me, I think maybe this is Chalcedony. I'm not 100% certain, but if someone can let me know, that'd be super duper. And then, ooh, looks like we have possibly some rutilated quartz, or maybe this is dyed. And this looks like it's carnelian or some form of jasper. Thought maybe he had another one for me. Cool. So here's all the crosses. Thus far. Thus far, the smaller crosses. They're not done yet. Man, I'll put these right here. Yeah. So we got like this? those spikes. Oh, these are, crosses. this is pyrite. So this is Maybe this garlic. gold fleck, the gold flecks that are in lapis lazuli pasta fazuli there it is isn't that cool that's rock and roll right on <gasps> oh here's another one so this for sure is jasper very nice quite the collection okay so it looks like we have a keychain love ao so i would assume it's that's like a slice agate with the Ooh, look at you it sure is. And then the, what is it? It's got that keychain. Metallic around it. Oh, it's a solder. Solder band around it. Yeah. I'm into it. It's pretty. It's, it's got, got a, beautiful banding. It's got a maker's mark on it. Yeah, it says Love AO. Oh. Uh, American Outfitters, American Eagle Outfitters. I'm not certain, but there we go. Oh. You know, I can see if I can't just kind of pop this off and turn this into a pendant. I mean, what a bummer it would be to have a keychain like that, huh? <sighs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. Here we go. All right, who's next? Oh, this is cute because it looks like someone attempted to make this into like a 
a message thing or like like a fake medicine pouch uh yeah or like that's actually kind of cute um keepsake pouch oh look oh it's <clears throat> it's I want to hold it like <laughs> yeah one. that's really yeah it's not <laughs> it's, it's part of the packaging just part of the packaging <laughs> Good one. So this is a rose quartz. Oh, it's cracked a little bit. A lot of it. But I can't, I'll see if maybe I can sand that down a bit. Who knows, so it's got a material cord. I'll put this off to the side and see about it. And these are just <laughs> packaging. But then we have some, what do we have here? Ooh, this, this may be iron eye. And this one looks like it's Amore. I think I've seen that brand online. I'm not 100% certain. But here it is. Cool. These are cute. I don't care if they're still jewelry little things. Okay. Uh, oh, did you put these together in a pile? You yeah, certainly sort did. Of. Wow. <gasps> Malachite. Aww. Liz Claiborne. Ooh, she's stepping it up. Well, I don't really know her personally, but. Um, these are cute. These are silver tone hoops if I had to wager. And they look like whether it's simulated or whether it's real, there's some malachite here. Very cute. These with the other earrings. Okay, here we go. We have some more hoops. I'm trying to see if I can't see if there's any kind of maker stamp on it or something, but it's I don't know. I'm I'm gonna have to check this out. This may be dye highlights for sure. Dye highlight. So we'll I'll put this off to the side to see if we have a match on this. What's that? It's a glass bead. Glass bead. It's a glass bead that probably goes with the other one mm. of this. Did you find the other one? Hmm? Did you find the other one to this one? I've been putting them like right here. Oh. Ooh, did we just have so. some stone. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, this may just be a jasper or an agate. Like be very cool. All of these guys right here. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Another set. Collect the whole set. Well, some of them are that shape. Hearts. And then those are that shape. And okay. Hearts, Speed round. Stars, we have some and tiger's eye. Some quartz. Citrine. Possibly. This is a uh, dyed halite. Aventurine or agate. Tiger's eye. Ooh, goldstone. Goldstone's a man made stone. Nonetheless, it's cute. Don't mess with my pile. Sodalite. Jasper, possibly hematite, possibly, got like a shiny flux, and then this is probably some more quartz. Uh, we have some dyed halite, some tiger's eye with a cross. Looks like it's been severely worn. So this is one of those ones that's gonna go in the craft lot just because I don't like to sell anything that I wouldn't wanna wear. Um, and this is that category. Someone could definitely utilize these beads. Okay, so we have another slice agate that has been dyed. Very pretty. Ooh, look at this one. You can barely see the banding through it, but if you really closely look, you can see right here, it's been very much dyed. And then soldered here and here, and it looks like it might have broken off. Very interesting. I'll take a look at that more at a later time. Ooh, wow. Killer. It's like a brutalist kind of feel to it. It's definitely, I would assume, like a lace amethyst, a quartz amethyst. Stunning. 
Love that. Yes, sirree. Okay, who are you? This is just glass. Actually, this is just resin. It's yeah. cool looking. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the 60s. Very mod, in my opinion. That's all we have is opinions. Uh, so this is... I don't really know. Possibly natural stone, possibly resin. It's earrings nonetheless. These over here, maybe I'll get the other ones. These are matchy matchy. These are tiger's eye. And I could see how someone would put this in here because it kind of looks like amber, but these are humongous and they've got really pretty flecks and they're just costume. Found the other one. Oh, you did. Yay, yippee. We got both of these. for one. Oh. Uh, is it? Or is it the same one? What do you mean? I thought this was dangling on it. Like no, it's an earring, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like oh. the crane machine, you get one toy, but two at I the same see. time. So this is um, resin. But it's really pretty. Kind of has like a tie-dye kind of rainbow uh, what are those things called? Uh, shaved ice kind of look snow to film. it. Yeah, snow Rain, uh, rainbow snow. Film. That's cute. Uh, we have another stretch that has. This is a faux druzy. You can kind of see how it looks like resin a bit. And it's gold tone and it's got a nice stretch to it, so that's a good one. Ooh, we have some amethyst. Are these Kendra Scott? so but they're they look a lot like they might be tender Scott normally they'd be etched on the side if it said Kendra Scott and it doesn't appear so but gosh these look a lot like Kendra Scott um, oh see that flash of the um, mother of pearl there stunning so these are mother of pearl inset look at that beautiful Whoop. And broken. Yeah, broken. Kidding. No, they're not. Very pretty. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I think. I thought I saw a pretty cat. These might be pictured. Picture Jasper. Ooh, and a very nice long one. Ooh, it has a hang tag. That is something. GG or something. I'm not certain. Okay. We have an earring here. Ooh, we have another. So this is another quartz cross. Quite the pile up. Got these to match with your other meat tenderizer dyed halite. And this uh, feels like glass beads with the chevron pattern. Very cute statement. Ooh, a little abalone brooch. Gold tone, very cute little butterfly. Oh, a little turtle, cute. Just a little, oh, that says 925, right there. Very nice. Cool, 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 happy day. Um, so we have this one, which my husband pointed out is missing one, which is not a problem. Easy fix here. Well, we got the matchy-matchy of these two. It has a nice weight to them. Okay, and so we have some tiger's eye earrings. These over here. And then it looks like we have, gosh, it's really pretty. Uh like an amethyst glass, or I don't know if it's actually amethyst, and it's got like a bronzy kind of color. It's kind of hard to see in the light. It may just be severely tarnished. I'm not 100% certain, and it looks like it's green on the inside, which on something like this, um, I know I got a comment the last video like, um, 
about cleaning verdigris off. Um, if it's just like a piece that is a costume piece that if I try to really work at the, the piece, um, and I let's say I spend like 15 minutes, to me that's not really worth it on let's say a costume piece. But if something like this, I actually took the time to clean and get a toothbrush and a toothpick and really clean on the inside to get rid of the verdigris, this is worth it. Because this is something that I can flip for more than, let's say, $3. So if it's something under $3, chances are I'll just put it in the bin. So it's a little explanation as to why I did what I did the last time. So Okay, so this is Amazonite. And the lines i hope that you can see the lines that i'm referring to the natural matrixing and the way that the stone grows you can see it looks like scratches and that's how you can really tell it's amazonite thank you so here's a good example of a line and as the stone moves of course the different offshoots of the white striations of course you have a big one here so that's how i tell if something is amazonite and this is just a resin bead and so that's really nice it's a very long one there you go thank you very much for that uh, and it has a lobster claw clasp in really good condition so we have, you have trouble getting that lobster claw class off. You just put some butter on it. Good one. <laughs> I don't know if I've even if I've had lobster. Sure, lobster I've tail. had crab. So it looks like I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a gander at this a little bit more to see what this is. Uh, this too, and this I can tell you is jasper. We have a druzy. This is a faux druzy can immediately tell <laughs> doesn't see through <laughs> and aside from that it's so lightweight and it doesn't have any kind of coldness to it temperature wise but the chain's really pretty it's got like a dot and dash kind of chain very cute and it doesn't appear to have any hang tag um so we have these which these are interesting they say mexico do they really? Yeah, they do. Well, um, Mexico can either mean that they're nickel silver or they're 925 sterling. Either way, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't think that this is mother of pearl and I don't want to just automatically assume that this is opal because I mean honestly, uh, but wouldn't that be something? So the thing that is picking up is the hook, which that could be easily fixed. I actually have some sterling silver hooks. Uh, so this is gonna be one of those that I'm gonna have to put off to the side to look at because as you can see, it kind of makes me like have a little bit of heart palpitations <laughs> on that one. I'll put that off to the side. All right, oh, is this a watch? Yeah. Hey oh, it? yeah, it's the watch. It's, a watch. it's heavy. Oh. Yeah, it's a watch. It doesn't appear to have, oh my God, and it's working. It's rare. It's very rare for me. Uh, AccuTime. Actually, it didn't come with like six other watches that were broken, so. Yeah, so that's good. I never have very good luck with watches. This right here appears to be dyed howlite. I can tell, especially just looking at the butt of this thing AccuTime. right here. Um, there's a lot of accumulation of dye, um, and then in between in the matrixing, there's a lot of white. So I can tell you, these are dyed halite. But nonetheless, they're pretty. Ooh, uh, this is, it's so light. I just don't feel like, th I feel like this is resin made to look like a natural stone with a cute little knot at the end there. That's not supposed to be there. Um, but this has a fringe, very cool, very nice, great condition. This is, looks like sea glass or something that's made to look like sea glass. And we have a little fishy, fishy charm, very cute. 
and a little volcano stone, which these are really great for um, aromatherapy. You wanna drop a little essential oil in here, a little dash of perfume, smell it when you get a little anxious. The choice is yours. Ooh, okay, so. I'll put vegetable oil so I can think of food later. There you go. French uh, mass, This is just tater. glass um, made to look like a crystal point. Tis not just glass but the chain is great and it doesn't appear to have much wear have some oh potato pearls with some cord possibly leather gold tone hooks Ooh, look at this <gasps> oh wow this Is beautiful. Uh, this may be, you know, I don't know. I hate to say it with just automatically looking, but it's stunning. It's gorgeous. This may be dyed agate. Sorry about my fingernail. Um, but I don't know. They're very ice cold. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to get back to you on this one, whether or not I think that this is jade. But this does have the chemical patina on it, as you can see the green throughout here and the green on the fish. This is not verdigris. This is just the chemical patina. Um, to accent all the rest of the colors. So I'll let you know if this is jade or not, but very cute. Ooh, we have some Millie Fiore beads, stunning. We have another glass pendant here, and we have some dyed halite. With A, is this a magnetic? Yeah, very cool. Oops, some more resin, resin, resin resin and resin so some resin beads made to look like natural stones this is dyed halite hardly anywhere very nice another dyed halite meant to look like you guessed it coral tis not just dyed halite Ooh. Well, aren't you fancy? Avon. It's one of those pinch and pull out clasps. Mm, I'm gonna have to, feels cold, but I'm gonna have to look at this a little bit closer up. Very nice. It doesn't look like there's anywhere on it at all. These are for sure natural stone, and it looks like these are a greenish Amazonite. Oh, it has a little A on it. Very cute. Who do we have here? So we have some more Amazonite with some ooh, beautiful beads. Look at that. Um, this is... This is one of those hard ones. Uh, you know, my first guess is to automatically assume that I'm gonna get something that is dyed halite. Uh, but this this looks very much like turquoise. So I'm gonna check this guy out. I'm gonna put this guy off to the side to give him a second guess. Uh, we have some glass beads here. This may be some dyed, um, dyed quartz to look like citrine. This is Tiger's Eye here. Nice stretch with some amber colored beads. What else do we have? We have some memory wire with some dyed abalone and dyed mother of pearl and some wooden beaded accents. Appears to be in very good condition. I've seen a lot of these where they're like kind of slidey because they're missing some pieces, but it's all good here. Oh, look at this. Uh, has a barrel clasp it has and my guess it's probably some some natural stone with a kind of luster over it if you're into that it has kind of a pinky gunmetally and uh, cream colored very interesting 
Okay, so we have this is another one of those, but I'm leaning towards this one being uh, dyed hot white a little bit more, but I am gonna put it off to the side to give it a second guess. This is some caged beads with some dyed abalone and wooden beads. Ooh, cha-cha. This looks like glass beads. Cute. Oh, it's a stretch. A stretch and a toggle. Okay. Uh, I think I already have this one. And I've put it off to the side somewhere and I've lost it. Um, this is a amethyst. Ooh, goldstone with some maybe resin beads here. That's pretty. Gotta love some goldstone chips. And then, oh, this is separate. This is very earth colors. Looks like we have some carnelian, some tiger's eye, and then it may be some glass spacers in between with a um, barrel clasp. Oh, we found the other one. So we have both of these, which is lovely. Uh, looks like we have a natural stone necklace. Looks like we have some agate, some amethyst. Ooh, I think we have some moss agate too. Stunning. Very pretty. Ooh, look at this guy. Beautiful. Love that. Um, okay, so we have some tiger's eye, and it feels like wood beads. They feel like wood beads, but I think they're resin. They're too consistent in the way that they look. And then some of the finish is coming off here, so. These are glass. Very pretty and unusual. You kind of get lost in them. Kind of look like seed pits to me. Let me know what you think they look like. I feel like you've been here for a while. Ooh, very pretty. This is resin over brass, possibly, with a Seen Better Days cord. Very pretty. And you are either copper or brass. And these are stretchy, which is interesting. Uh, well, the... yeah, that's oh, yeah, my one fault. Of was, uh... <laughs> Well, Both someone's going to enjoy craft lot. that in the craft lot. But I think that the, the bracelet, or sorry, the necklace, would be fine without the little dangle. Uh, so I'll give this another look-see, but... Yeah. Okay, here we go. I know these have been here, sitting here. This is a fringe on it. Look at that. Sound like dominoes tiles. And I think the resin. Interesting. They were they really looked like I think what threw me off was that they have like weighted beads on the bottom here, so it's made to kind of feel like they're a little bit heavier. Like these might be like dyed halite or magnesite, but it's uh just resin. That's interesting. Love that. Love how people can manipulate um, different things to look like different things. <laughs> okay, so we have some donuts here. These just look like glazed glass, to be honest with you. Um, but then again, these feel and sound like that they're an agate. So maybe this, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but these are wooden beads in between and a tall clasp. These, I have had this before. I've had this exact necklace and when I went to wash it, all of the dye came off and it was just white beads. So if I am gonna wash it, I might just run a, 
the cloth through it or something. I don't know. Um, these are also resin, made to look like natural stone. Very nice. There's nothing wrong with resin beads, especially if you don't want to wear the weight. These are cool. These are, these are, this is for sure dyed halite. You can see the white coming through. This is maybe an older piece or this was very much worn and loved. Um, but this is, it doesn't look like tiger's eye. Maybe this is just glass beads. It's a cross. Thank you. Is this? <laughs> this says Robert Rose. I'm not 100% certain who Mr. Rose is. I'm trying to untangle this. Maybe? Maybe the middle one's supposed to tangle. Well, these, this is, this is resin. This is natural stone, natural stone, resin, natural stone, resin. So that's interesting. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research about Mr. Rose. Um, so we have another, most definitely agate long necklace. Very nice. This is resin, very pretty blue. Doesn't appear to have a hang tag, but the clasp is in okay condition. I'll run it under some suds to see if I can clean it up. And then we have another natural stone necklace. And coming up to our second to the last piece here. So we have a potato pearl. My guess is silver tone and glass, possibly anklet. And our last piece of the video is this dyed halite teardrop multi layered with suede cord necklace. And guys, that's it. That's all five point some odd, some odd, some odd pounds of natural stones. I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. This is definitely great for my reselling adventure. A few of the fun little things that I had gotten. This one for sure was absolutely stunning and gorgeous and beautiful. And I thought that I had my, oh, I do. Oh, it's a size eight. It's stunning. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified as to when we're going to put out another video or go live to do another jewelry unboxing. Hope that you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.